Hey guys, what's up, Spectre here. And as we barrel closer and closer to what's hopefully the final release date, it seems that some of us are getting a little impatient. Today I'll be discussing the latest leaks, as folks have gotten their hands on early retail copies, overall game length, and some ray tracing details. Let's jump right in. Recently, NVIDIA and CDPR teamed up again in a video showing off their impressive ray tracing tech. The video sheds more light <laughs> on the visual effects ray tracing will add to the already stunning graphics of Cyberpunk 2077. NVIDIA boasts a more immersive and detailed world, as reflections and shadows will be dramatically improved, as well as boosting the realism of light falloff and diffusion. While the game already looks breathtaking, the added visual effects elevate the game to a whole new level. CDPR also published the PC requirements for these features, requiring an RTX 2060 graphics card at bare minimum, at least for ray tracing tech. Personally, I'll be playing on a 3080, which is what you'll need at the higher end of the spectrum, allowing you to play at 4K with ultra graphics and ray tracing enabled. A quick look at this chart will help you find where you fall spec-wise, so feel free to pause and give it a look. If the struggle to track down a new graphics card has you down, here's some rather good news. CD Projekt Red's QA lead has recently posted his total playtime of the game, clocking in at a whopping 175 hours. Now, if his job title raised any red flags, don't worry. Although he's QA, he didn't spend all that time looking for game-breaking bugs. According to him, this was a slow-paced playthrough on hard difficulty. By all accounts, it seems like he took his time, clearing enemies methodically and pursuing the stealthier paths through quests. This could be a more extreme example, as those who play on normal difficulty may clear encounters and complete quests faster and fail less. Those of you who don't feel the need to loot everything in sight may also clock a lower time. But with over 100 hours of content, branching paths, and different origins, this already lengthy game is ripe for replay opportunities that will potentially add hundreds of hours of more playtime. Many outlets that have delivered their impressions after 16 hours of gameplay have also reported numbers like 6 hours just to reach the title screen. All in all, this is looking to be an absolute goliath of a game. And finally for today, physical copies of Cyberpunk have begun shipping to retailers, with leaks making their way onto the net. The most recent leak came in the form of 20 minutes of uploaded gameplay, and while many were hunting through various sites looking for another peek at Cyberpunk, sites like Rock Paper Shotgun report that it's not worth your time. Not so much because the gameplay is boring or the game doesn't look good, it simply isn't presented well and includes things we've already seen in Night City Wire broadcasts or through trailers. Essentially, it's the opening of the Nomad Life Path, which consists of driving through the wastes and this scene that we've seen multiple times. The person streaming it also managed to talk through almost every cutscene that was presented in those 20 minutes and barely showed any customization footage. So don't feel too bad if you don't manage to get eyes on it, as most of it has probably been taken down in advance. You're not missing out on much from the looks of it, However, do remain vigilant if you're trying to go into the game with as little information as possible, as spoilers may become rampant as we get closer to release. But that's it for this Cyberpunk update. If you haven't, check out my videos on everything we know about the upcoming Cyberpunk multiplayer, or perhaps one of my Cyberpunk lore dives. Make sure to get subbed for more coverage of the game through release, as I'll be providing more news updates, weapon reviews, guides, and much more. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.